I'm a simple guy. Not simple like, uh, but in that I only really need a few basic things to get along, you know? Food, water, shelter, and of course, a bunch of celebrities coming together to tell me just how bad the world is. Because they know, don't they? The poor fuckers. Living in poverty, struggling to keep a roof over their head, you gotta feel sorry for them. So, when Glamour, the magazine that offers female fashion and beauty tips, does a special little video in which many a star had the opportunity to make a measly shekel while virtue signalling their dear little hearts out, you can bet your sweet succulent ass that they came running. And why? Because they know so much more than we do. Ah, oh, shit, yeah, I know I said they got a bunch of celebrities, but I honestly don't know who half of them are. I had to look up a few, and they're from shit like American Idol. And every cunt is wearing one of these t-shirts which don't describe females as a whole in any way. Actually, that's how I would describe females. As a whole. We should all be feminists. Ah, oh, fuck, uh, that was Nicole Kidman. I guess she had some free time on her hands, though. She's not got the same background as everyone else, so it looks like she got the film crew to go to her. That bitch from America's Next Top Model, who probably only won because of her skin condition. James Corden, who will never miss an opportunity to be a simpering little fuckwad. And fucking hell, this one's a beast. If she ain't a UFC fighter, seriously, we are all missing out. Ah yes, now we have women staring meaningfully at the camera. Enough said, right? Funny though, because nowhere on those t-shirts does it say can't think of a fucking thing to say. And look, it says unique, but also implies all women carry the above characteristics. So how is that unique? And is that Bananarama? We teach girls to shrink themselves. To make themselves smaller. And I'm sure that's why we have shows like America's Next Top Model and magazines like Glamour, yeah? Cashing in on that teach girls to be small bandwagon. I'm 25 seconds into this video and it's already contradicted itself twice. I'm just saying, those t-shirts were a big mistake because I'll wager none of those attributes are going to be displayed. Especially funny, because James Corden's in on this one, so no fucking chance. We say to girls... You can have ambition, but not too much. Really? Emma Bunton of the Spice Girls, her own solo career, and now her own show on Radio 1 is telling us, alongside Amy Poehler, p p p Poehler, the actress, comedian, writer, producer, and director, that we teach women not to have too much ambition. If that were true, dickheads, how are you two even here? And Amy, come on, love, I'm surprised at you. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Oh, shut up, Corden. The only reason you got into this video was because you have a massive set of tits. Don't be too successful, followed by Nicole Kidman, who has a net worth of $347 million. What the fuck would being too successful look like then? Like, oh, well, I was aiming for a billion dollars, but I thought to myself, no, Nicole, don't be too greedy. And how much makeup is this bitch wearing? I mean, she's 50. She must be falling out the bottom of that T-shirt by now. Otherwise... You will threaten the man. 347 million, Nicole! Threaten the man? I'm not threatened, I'm fucking jealous! You sat up there in your opulent palace of splendour, calling down to the teeming masses of unwashed peasants who've gathered at your feet. I'm really oppressed up here, guys. I've just got so much money, I can't fit it all in one purse. It's a fucking nightmare. Because I am female. What was that? Just a load of women daring me to say otherwise, one of which was Billy Piper, who achieved fame at the age of 15 by releasing a song we all wish we could forget, later marrying a ginger guy who used to present breakfast television, divorcing said ginger guy who used to present breakfast television, and was a companion in Doctor Who for longer than some of the men who played the actual fucking Doctor. This girl's fucking minted. The patriarchy really needs to step his game up, you know? This one needs more oppression. I am expected to aspire to marriage. Well, everyone is in a way. That's your parents put that in your head though. Don't blame society for that one. They just want grandkids. Whiny, whiny grandkids. I am expected to make my life choices. Always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important. Oh, shut the fuck up. Where did you hear that? Well, obviously from the script you're all reading from, because fuck, you can't have any thoughts of your own, can you? That's the patriarchy again, not allowing you to think for yourselves. Sure, it can be good once your career's dried up and you're sat alone in an empty mansion, but who the fuck is saying you have to get married? Give me some citation, Glamour. Now. Oh, not your messed up face again, Caitlin. Fuck off, will you? Was she even meant to be in this, or could she sense something feminism-y happening and just showed up? She doesn't even have a real way of contacting her. You just shine a fucking vulva into the night sky and she'll be there. 
marriage can be a source of joy and love and mutual support. Let's talk body language. Despite the second line of the t-shirt saying fearless, the girl on the right is nervous as fuck, as you can tell by her holding onto her arm like she's injured. The girl on the left doesn't give a shit. So don't talk to me about mutual support when the woman stood next to you isn't offering you a fucking thing. But why do we teach girls to aspire to marriage? And we don't teach boys the same. Because they're busy being taught not to rape. Look, it's females saying this, so how do you know what males are taught? I can see from various bios of the people in this video that some of you have children. Are you teaching your sons to aspire to marriage? If you are, this video's irrelevant, and if you aren't, you're a fucking hypocrite. Take your pick. I'm not even joking. About 20% of this video is them staring at the camera, judging you with their face. We raise girls to see each other as competitors. We're all raised as competitors. Cock for brains, life is a competition. For money, resources, renown, it's all a knockout tournament of who can climb the highest and last the longest, isn't it? That's why the generation raised on participation trophies are likely to be really shit at staying alive. Not for jobs or accomplishments. Which I think can be a good thing. Fucking hell, Billy. You look hung the fuck over, lovey. Why not pop a couple of tramadol, have a glass of water, and lie down in the back for a bit? These lights must be killing you. But for the attention of men. If you want kids, yeah. And if you want good-looking kids, hell yeah. And don't act like most human endeavour isn't to attract the opposite sex. If Mugtow were around hundreds of years ago, we wouldn't have any bridges or shit like that. Plus, now I've got to say this because it's been bothering me for a while now. I know it's a skin condition and blah, blah, blah. But you remind me of a Frisian cow. Oh shit, I'm going to get in trouble for that one. We teach girls that they can't be sexual beings in the way their boys are. Really? This is a video made by Glamour magazine, yeah? Let's just take a look at some of their articles. 10 pro-women porn sites your clitoris will thank you for. I have to say, I think most porn is pro-woman, to be honest. That's kind of the whole point. How do I stop my partner slipping out during sex? That's actually quite a good article. It just says your vagina is too wide. And my personal favourite, fidget spinner butt plugs are here for some twisted ass play. So no Glamour and woman I don't fucking recognise. You can go suck a dick on that one. Feminist. 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 I'm not gonna lie, all these people stood around saying feminist raises just as many good points as the rest of this video. That is to say, fuck all. And this bitch here is only well known, well, within reason, because she won America's Next Top Model, a show about using your body and looks to make money. I wonder exactly how feminist that's considered to be. The person who believes in the social, political and economic equality of the sexes. Oh, so feminism is about equality between the sexes, is it? Bollocks. Ah, oh, well, I guess it does say funny on that t-shirt. A feminist is a man or a woman who says, You're fucking a white male! Yes, there is a problem with gender as it is today. And we must fix it. Why you gotta play me like that, Rory Gilmore? None of the things you raised are really problems, are they? They're either small peeves, simple differences, or something you fucking made up. If women really have it that bad, how are any of you bitches on here? How have you even got a platform to needlessly whine about these non-issues? Every actress on here got their jobs because they're a woman. There's no way a man could have played that prostitute in Sin City, Rory Gilmore. It just wouldn't have worked. But you are right. There is a problem with gender equality. Just not in the way you're pissing on about. Women have more rights than men, legally and socially, but you'd rather moan about how some girls are told getting married is important. So you're gonna go back to your massive houses, and I'm gonna sit in my flat I share with two other people, making this video so I can scrape together some extra cash alongside the two jobs I work, but it's okay, because I've got it better than you, apparently. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron, because I'm having trouble cashing my government-issued checks for being a straight white male. The link is in the description, and remember, if you're a success, thank feminism. If you're a failure, blame the patriarchy.